Hi, I'm Daisy. Welcome back to my Beauty's Big Sister channel. Now, I thought I'd just sit down really quickly and wrap up my summer beauty favourites that I've just been loving at the minute. Obviously, I get sent quite a bit of stuff and I'm chopping and changing all my beauty products all the time. But these are the products that have stayed with me throughout the summer so far. So, let's get into it. Okay, so in terms of my hair, I mean, don't judge it right now because it's not looking its best. I've literally just plaited it last night and took it out plats today. So the product that I have been loving for my hair, number one, the best, is the Moroccan Oil Treatment. I have never tried Moroccan Oil before now, but now I am seriously in love with it. It's so good, I literally drench my hair in this when it's damp, before I blow dry it, and also before I style it with my hairstylers. And it just makes my hair feel so soft, like if you've got hair extensions, you can sympathise with me that this hair can get quite dry, it can get quite knotty, but this is my hero product for getting rid of all the tangles. To prep my hair, I've been loving the VO5 Express Primer Spray. This is basically like an all-in-one, it's a primer for your hair, it's also a heat protectant, so it protects up to 230 degree heat, which is brilliant. Um, it says on the back that it helps to detangle your hair and also helps to tame flyaways which is definitely what I need when it's super hot outside like it is right now so yeah this is just a great all-in-one product that I've been using so these two team together are like my hair BFFs and then this the wet brush is hands down the best brush I've ever used. I mean, I can't say that I'm going to fully neglect the Tangle Teaser for life because I do love it, but this wet brush is so good. Again, if you've got hair extensions or if you've just got long hair, this is just the best. It just gets out all your tangles so well and I love it. So I've got this aqua colour one and I've also got a leopard print one, which I love as well. For my body, this is the best thing ever, like seriously. So this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now, I've been <laughs> confirmed that it's not Bum Bum Cream, that's not how you say it, it's Bum Bum. But I mean, Bum Bum's just a little bit more fun, so I'm gonna stick with that, and that's how it's spelled on the packaging, so let's go with that. But this is the body cream you might have seen so many beauty bloggers Talking about this cream, and honestly, it does live up to the hype. Comes in this huge tub like this. The smell is like incredible. I, I can't even explain. It's just summer in a pop. And it's quite a thick formula of cream, but it sinks into the skin so nicely. And it's got this like slight shimmer. So it leaves a slight sheen on the skin, which is obviously so flattering in the sunlight and I mean you could just wear this and not even have to wear perfume because it just smells so good. So I have the body cream, I mean it is really expensive, it's I think, I can't remember how much it is but I'll link it down below, it's a splurge, it's a splurge product but if you want to maybe split the price and share the product with your mum or your housemate or if you just want to treat your friend, if you're a really good friend and you want to treat them for their birthday then I mean, this is incredible. And then also, I mean, it's such a splurge for a shower gel, but because I have it, I've been using it, and oh, it's just so nice. So yeah, I've been drenching my body in this in the shower. For my face, again, this is a product that so many bloggers have been talking about, and the L'Oreal Hydrogenius is seriously so, so good. So if you think that so many bloggers are talking about it, is it worth the hype? It is so worth the hype, honestly. And it's probably the cheapest facial cream slash moisturiser I've owned, yet one of the best. So if you're looking for a new face cream but you don't want to splurge out, definitely try this. So basically it's quite, it's like a gel-like cream. It's very, very lightweight, sinks into the skin super quick. And it has this like cooling, refreshing, properties in the cream so it's just so nice after a long day if you're feeling hot and bothered just to slap this all over your face and it's so refreshing so hydrating so so good so yeah try it let me know what you think if you've already tried it let me know what you think of it in the comments below because 
I have not found anyone that has tried this and doesn't love it. Also in terms of skincare, the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Mist. Now if you watched my summer holiday get ready with me makeup tutorial, you will know that I took this on holiday with me and I have been using it ever since. This is my second bottle of 8 Hour Mist so I haven't actually used this one yet because my other one has just finished. That is how much I've used it. So basically this mist has got all the amazing properties that 8 hour cream has but it's super refreshing, super hydrating and exactly what your skin needs in the summer. So I prep my skin with this before I apply my makeup, I also use it to set my makeup and then also just throughout the day just to kind of refresh your skin and give you that boost, it's so nice. So Sunny always steals this off me as well so I just spray this on my skin and oh it's just so nice, it's so refreshing I love it and then also from Elizabeth Arden the dare to bear body bronzing oil um, I put this in my summer body get ready with me video I'll link it up here if you want to see that but oh my gosh this body oil is the best bronzing body oil I've ever used it's so luxurious sinks into the skin gives you that gorgeous sheen but it's also got this bronze um, colouring to it so it just gives you that beautiful summer bronze shade with also the amazing glistening shimmering formula as well. It's seriously so so good and it just makes your skin look kind of like airbrushed and glowing so I'm definitely taking this on holiday with me when I go next. Okay let's move on to makeup so I have got this which I'm so excited to open but because when you use beauty blenders, when you use sponges, you start to use them and then they never look as good as they do when you first open the packet. So I thought I'm going to pop this in now to show you just because it's so beautiful. I love beauty blenders so much for applying my foundation and my concealer, my bronzer, basically everything, my highlighter and the beauty blenders ones are the best. So this is the new Summer Fling, three makeup sponges in here. I mean, I tried to apply my foundation with a foundation brush the other day and just, just no. So yeah, you can't live without beauty blenders and I'm so happy to have three more in my kit. I'm sorry if I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot, but the iconic illuminator just needed to be in this video because I use it basically every single day and as you might have noticed, it's been in a lot of makeup tutorials because I just can't live without it right now. This is so good. Again, it's a bit of a splurge, it's £30 for an illuminator, but it's so worth it because the tiniest little bit goes such a long way. So you can see here, I just love liquid highlighters at the minute. They just blend into your skin so much easier and seamlessly. So I just love the sheen that it gives and it is the most intense illuminator I have ever ever tried. Bare Minerals Original Foundation. Now I have the shade Golden Tan. This is such a nice formula and I fell in love with it all over again after going to a Bare Minerals sleepover with the team and they reintroduced us to the original foundation and told us why it's so amazing and it's so pure that you can literally sleep in it. Now obviously I never recommend sleeping your makeup but this is so pure that you actually can and you wouldn't break out and it wouldn't affect your skin. So that means a lot. It's basically just such a pure, lightweight, gorgeous formula and you just pop it on with a brush. So you swirl your brush into the product, you tap the excess off and then buff it into the skin and it just gives you such a nice, healthy complexion. So. It's kind of look like what I would expect the Victoria's Secret models to use because it's just, it looks like your skin, but better. Again, another blush that I have not stopped reaching for throughout the summer. This is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. I mean, this used to be a peach here. It's kind of gone because I've used it so much. But this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. But I also use it just to like kind of pop over my highlight as well because it's got a gorgeous shimmer in it. And also I always run it through my eyelids because it's just such a gorgeous shade 
that goes with everything and I'm living for the peachy golden makeup looks right now so this has been a hero for me. For my lips I have been loving the Buxom lip glosses. Now if you don't know Buxom they have been around for years and years. I think 10 years in America but they have literally just come over to the UK into Debenhams. They are such an amazing brand. Their whole tagline is big, bold, sexy, which I love. So this is the Buxom lip gloss in the shade Leslie's. And this is a kind of peachy, pinky lip gloss with a gorgeous bit of shimmer in it. And it also has plumping properties in it. So it's not one of those plumping lip glosses that have harsh reactants in it, such as like chili and bee pollen and stuff to make your lips swell. It's not like that at all and it's just really natural ingredients that are in it to help make your lips plump. Now I use this when I went to get my hair done. I went to the hairdressers and my hairdresser asked me if I had had lip injections. <laughs> No, I just had the Buxom lip gloss on. Honestly, it's so good. It gives your lips this gorgeous shine. I love the shimmer in it, and it's just such a great lip gloss. I actually used it as a base to my eye glitter when I was on the way to Lovebox Festival the other day, just because I didn't have anything to stick my glitter down with. So it worked really well, apart from the fact that I forgot it was plumping so my lip my eyes were literally like tingling yeah I wouldn't recommend to put it on your eyes another product that has been my holy grail for the past couple of months is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick by Benefit um, again I've popped this in a few tutorials it's a gorgeous contour shade um, I'll pop it on my hands so you can see here and the formula is so good it's really really creamy because sometimes I just don't get on with cream contours but this one is just perfect for my skin. I do set it with my Benefit Hoola powder as well just to keep it in place but yeah I've loved using this it's such a great product. And then lastly for my nails of course I mean nine times out of ten I'm always wearing OPI and these two colours I have been loving. So this is Living on the Boulevard which is that bright orange from the Fiji collection and then this pastel pink here is Getting Nardi on my honeymoon and I had these done when I went to Lovebox Festival so they're super cool and funky but my hero shade for this past few months has got to be this one. So this is Time for a Napa. This is from the California Dreaming Collection from OPI which has just launched and I have been wearing the shade so much and so many of you have been asking on my Instagram and my Twitter what nail polish I'm wearing and also my YouTube videos as well because I've been wearing this quite a lot. This is my favourite shade right now. So it's a gorgeous corally peach. It just goes with everything. And I think when you've got that nice golden summer glow, it just teams so nicely with this. So that's my summer favourites right now. The Holy Grail products that I have been loving. Let me know what products you've been loving in the comments below. And also any video ideas, please let me know and I will make sure to film them. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please like below if you did enjoy this video. Please subscribe, you know the drill. If you do subscribe, then thank you so, so much. I hope you have a good week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.